Hello guys, welcome to my video series tutorial to talk about Microsoft Cymatic Kernel. In the last video, we learned about how to using function filter and the prompt filter. Now I will show how to interrupt a function calling, whether it's done by manual or it's automatically or through planner, whatever it is. So how to interrupt? Let's get started how to implement this feature. For this demo, I take the our one of our example, we talk about function calling, auto function calling. I take the same example. Here I used two plugin, one for history plugin and another one for weather plugin. Now I'm going to interrupt the weather plugin to check the condition. If the city contains Bangalore, change to Chennai, like that. To achieve this concept, we have to use the filter concept, function filter. One more advantage of the function filter, in our last video, we created the one function filter attached to the kernel. In general, you can create n number of function filter or prompt filter based on their, your request. So now I'm going to add the function filter to my plugin itself. So here I add the function filter here based on my plugin condition. I'm going to handle the scenario. So for that, first I'm going to create a new class, public class, the class called weather filter. This class should contain the function filter interface. Let's implement this interface. I remove the default implementation. Function invoking, I have to check the condition whether this function invoking related to this weather plugin or not. If it is this weather plugin, I am going to handle the condition. So here I am checking the condition if context dot function dot name equal to get whether a sync or not we have to check so we have already defined this function name in the static variable so we can directly check here external weather plugin dot get weather so if it is this function then check the condition what I'm going to check, I'm going to check the city name contains Bangalore or not. So for that, we have to read the city name. So where city name equal to the values available in the context dot argument. So here you can pass the argument name. So argument name is a city name because here we specified our, our argument is a city name. So the same name should come here. The next step, I'm checking the condition. String dot compare the city name Bangalore to zero. Then change the city name. Just copy this one here to like Chennai. Yeah, it's correct. So here null check because this is written the object we have to convert to string so checking the condition if it is Bangalore change to Chennai that's it this weather plugin we have to attach to the kernel so this kernel we have to attach for that I'm going to pass the kernel object while creating the weather plugin object so here I remove the default primary constructor implementation instead I go with the secondary constructor concept so see constructor the constructor pass this key and first argument is a kernel object so kernel so here kernel dot function filter property in our last video, we attach prompt filter using this prompt filter property. Now I'm going to use this function filter, function filter dot add new of weather filter. That's it. So added in the main program dot CS file. Here I have to pass a kernel object. So the first argument is a kernel object. That's it. So our interruption logic has been implemented. I go here and put the breakpoint here so we start run this application now this function invoking get called 
we'll check the function name history so this is not related to this weather plugin function invoking continue this time yes it's match with uh, our weather plugin related function so condition true go to inside in this argument you can see the names city name contain the values Bangalore here we check the condition if it is Bangalore change to Chennai so here we change the values to Chennai I put one more breakpoint to this function so so that here we can see now it will change to Chennai continue here you can see now it's changed to Chennai that's it so this is a simple example how to interrupt in function calling or in planner i hope you can understand how to implement this feature